Hello, um, I've received an extraordinary um, act of kindness award from my town mayor, so that's nice. Um, thanks for that. Um, it's a COVID thing. Um, but um, here's another extraordinary act of kindness. If you own a, an HP laptop um, and you want to make it go a bit faster, you might find this useful because there's a rather naughty little hidden um, service that um, is sort of ticking away in the background that you can get rid of so that's what this video is about uh, if you find it useful then um, you can buy me a coffee using the Kofi link because that um, encourages me to make more um, helpful videos but um, yeah let's get on with it first thing to consider is that actually um, you've gone into programs and features and remove everything that said HP um, except for the stuff that you know that you need like for your printer and stuff so what we're going to do now is just check uh, here's apps and features and we'll see what's listed on this particular machine um, so it's got a Canon printer anyway um, it's sort of loading up and we'll scroll down and you can see there's nothing there that says HP nothing at all in that list that suggests that there's any HP software installed. And we'll look at programs and features as well. So here we go. Um, and you can see there, nothing that suggests there's anything HP at all. Let's have a look at Task Manager and we'll see what's going on with that. Um, we'll just wait for that to finish doing its thing. If I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there's HP Touchpoint Analytics client, which is running perfectly happily, uh, even though we're not supposed to have any HP software on there. So what we'll do is we'll find out where that is by looking at um, show location. And you can see it's there in um, System32 driver store for repository. Um, yeah, but if you look a bit uh, higher up the folder, you'll see there's actually quite a lot of HP stuff lurking around in there um, so the HP stuff basically hasn't gone so if we look in program data now and have a little sneaky look around in there there is a folder called HP and we'll look in there and can you see that folder there HP touchpoint analytics client it's a hidden folder so you have to um, you know uh, adjust the view settings um, and there it is. So there is analytics software running in the background on your HP laptop when you think there isn't any HP software running. And it's obviously in use because there it says, you know, this folder's in use. So I can't delete the folder because, you know, it's creating logs. So if we go in that folder and just try and delete whatever we can delete, we'll see what happens. Um, the logs folder won't go so let's see what else we can get rid of and basically it looks like um i can get rid of everything apart from the logs and if you look in there there's 220 odd 220 items so 220 log files and they're not very big they're like 60k each or so but there's still quite a lot of files in there and it is logging all that information i don't really know what it's logging um, the logs don't make a great deal of sense, but nonetheless, it's taking notes. So we can delete all those um, log files there. So off they go. And um, that one there, we'll try. Yeah, that's the one that's in use. So we can't actually get rid of that. So we should be able to delete the one above it. But in the meantime, we'll just um, do a little renaming trick. If a file's in use, you can just rename it. And if it lets you do it, you can then um, delete it. This one doesn't because obviously the file is active and in use by this bit of hidden software. So we have to end that process. So end HP Touchpoint Analytics Client Service and go back to that folder and we should be able to find that we can now delete. So I've selected the files and they've gone. So now we're trying to delete other stuff. Uh, certain bits of this footage have been edited where permissions are involved. Um, so if you get a folder that you can't delete because there's issues with ownership, you will need to change the ownership of the folder. Um, 
I can do a separate video on that if you're stuck, but there are plenty of examples of how to do it on the net. Um, just you know, stick something in the comments. So I'm deleting files. The registration one here, for example, um, is uh, controlled by the system. So I take control of that and then I remove it and everything's good. So um, we're slowly deleting everything we can possibly delete. Um, and there seems to be quite a lot of stuff left behind. And the next thing we're going to look at is the services. So magnifying glass, type in the word services. And that should bring us up, um, well, should bring us up this. Let's have a look. And um, we're looking for things that are HP related. And there may be a few of them. So we're going to scroll down and um, just have a little look. They're rather helpfully arranged alphabetically. So just whiz your way down to H and you'll see there's uh, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five specific HP services of which remember that analytics one is isn't running because I've just closed it but the other four are still running um, so when you remove the HP software it's not gone so stop these services uh, stop them manually just here just you know just uh, to see if they can be stopped because sometimes you get warnings if if services are important enough to um not but you know these aren't so they um <laughs> they shut quite nicely so now i've done that we need to um, check the names so this actual service name is hp um touch point analytics service and we'll go and look in regedit so try in regedit bring it all up uh h key local machine is where we want to be we want to be in uh system and then current control set that lists the um, services so click services and now we're having a I'll just make that a bit bigger and then we'll we'll scroll down and we'll find these services as they're listed in this um, particular section of the registry because when we delete them from here that will stop them from running so there's um, that's an HD audio service so it's not HP so we'll leave that one alone we're looking very specifically for HP. So I'm just going to go down a little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, there you go. HP app helper. Um, that's definitely HP related. So we can delete that. Right click delete. Next one, H -E, uh, HP, what's that? Custom. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one as well, I think. It's all HP. Right click delete. Uh, that one there, HP Diags, that's a diagnostics thing. Yeah, get rid of that one, delete that. HP Network, uh, we can get rid of that one, I think, as well. And the Sysinfo, and there's the one that we were particularly worried about, because that was definitely running, that's the Touchpoint Analytics Service, get rid of that as well. Um, be very careful uh, what you do delete. Um, uh, the trick will be, uh, to be very you know just make sure that it says HP on it um, and once we've done that those services will disappear from that part of uh, you know the services management console so uh, and they won't run so the next stage now will be to um, just use CCleaner to tidy up any registry entries that are um, still left so we're going to click uh, CCleaner open it and click registry and then do scan and the, the general rule is you just click scan and then it, when it's finished scanning, you can do fix and then you run it again and you keep doing that until there's nothing left. You might get one entry, um, which uh, that keeps reappearing um, and doesn't get deleted. If that's the case, then obviously you can leave that one entry behind. Um, so uh, review and select, do you want to save it? No, fix, run it again. And you keep running it until there's nothing left. Um, it's picking up HP stuff as we speak. Uh, that's uh, I think that's the one that it's okay to leave. That um, speech one core thing you're going to get that cropping up I think. So just um, just be aware that you don't have to have zero things there. I mean it would be nice, but you don't have to. So once that's done, what we're going to do now is um, look at the startup apps so um here we go 
and we'll see what's in there because there's a little surprise waiting for us there and there's sea cleaner which um, is turned off there um, but look below see that HP SEU host launcher so there's still there's still HP software on this laptop so we're going to look at the registry now so um, yeah ready it again and uh, let's see if we can find it so i'm going to go in registry energy i'm going to search for hp seu host launcher so let's just um get that typed in uh launcher and launch to that so there we go and uh, i'll leave it to search it can take a while so in the meantime let's go looking for some other hp folders and i'm going to find them in um program data there's a couple in there so um yeah we'll try and delete that and see what happens uh i've also noticed that there's one actually called hewlett packard so we'll have that one as well and we'll try and delete that too um yeah uh there's a lot of stuff left over isn't there it's quite crazy really uh let's see uh, i wonder if it's found it let's see if it's found anything um in the registry we'll flick back and have a look uh, uh mm, yes there we go look it's uh in the startup so we'll delete that registry entry it's referring to a folder called system.sav so let's go and find that um because it's in the root of the c drive and that's got loads of stuff in it look loads and loads and loads of stuff and it's um is it hp related it it all looks it's all hp related so we should delete that folder as well while we're at it oh uh, it's quite mad really isn't it there's so much stuff so um we'll delete that too and then um hopefully that will be the end of it i'll just delete that there um good let's get rid of that and that will stop that from running or, well, it will stop it showing up in the um, the startup thing. So if I go back to the startup thing now, start, uh, and then um, have a look. Can you see it's gone? I also took C Cleaner off while I was there, but um, it just tidies that up a little bit. Um, and we'll just continue with the search, and I, I don't think it'll find anything, but um, I'm going to delete that system.sub folder now because we don't need that. And now we'll just check to see if the... Um, registry editor has found anything um it's still searching so i think it should ah there we go right it's finished now so that's registry clear so there's just a couple of things left to do so the last bit is really to um delete the system.sav folder and then give it a reboot and then run c cleaner like i did at uh, an earlier point in this video where you, it just scans looking for sort of orphaned registry entries and you keep doing that until it's until you've got all the HP ones out. Um, give it a reboot and you should find your computer is now um, running a bit faster because there's four services and um, that, that were supposed not to be there that are now not there. Um, so yeah, if you found this video helpful, then buy me a coffee. That would be very, very kind of you. Um, they don't cost very much um, and it would encourage me to make more videos like this. Um, if you're HP, <laughs> Stop putting little hidden services on your computers. It's a bit annoying. Um, if you've got any comments, uh, like if you want some clarification on some of the things I did, like for example, taking ownership of folders and things, then I can do a separate video for that if you want me to. I don't mind doing that. If you have any questions, I will endeavor to answer them because I always answer my questions. Um, uh, liking and subscribing, I also encourage that as well. That would be quite nice of you to do that. And of course, final thing to say really is um thanks for watching